Excuse me, sir. Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do that? Did you do it? No? No, oh, sorry. Thank you everyone. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be taking you with me to a cat cafe. I haven't been to one in years, not really sure why, so I'm super stoked to be here. I love cats so I'm at my fluffiest, hoping that they would see me as a cloud that they can sit on or maybe even make bread on. Whew. Let's see if it works. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, Cat Cafe Mocha. What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you. Cat Cafe Mocha is a popular chain cat cafe here in Japan, and they have multiple stores around Tokyo. This one is on the 8th and 9th floors of a building in Shibuya. The Cat Cafe Mocha is usually open from 10 to 10, but since the pandemic, they only open from 12 to 8 o'clock, and 7.30 being the last time you can go in. The basic price is 200 yen for every 10 minutes, with an extra 350 yen for the drink bar. The maximum is 2,400 yen, so if you stay more than 2 hours, you still pay a total of 2,750 yen. Before going in, you need to take off your shoes, wear the inner slippers that they have, and of course, sanitize. They also have lockers where you can place your belongings, especially the ones that can be easily ruined or lost. I'm sure you're dying to see some cats, so let's go in! Once you enter, there is this vending machine, of course, where you can drink all you can. Let me see what they have. They have a peach juice, kalpis, hot kalpis, a matcha ole, yuzu hachimitsu, which is um, yuzu honey, and they have various coffees. They have corn soup, cola, <laughs> energy drinks, extra creamy cocoa, and more coffee. They also have tea over here. So excited to play with some cats. What did you see? What did you see? Hello. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you look playful. Hi. Oh, you're really playful. <sighs> Pretty. Oh. oh, bye. Cat Cafe Mocha is known for their very stylish cafes. The different locations have their own unique themes. The one I'm in in Shibuya has a very vintage feel. It's decorated with a lot of cat-themed items and some really cool posters. Happiness is not a destination. It is a way of life. Do you agree with that, folks? This particular location also has a second floor and the cats can freely go from one floor to the other. This branch has 25 different cats, and they're all just lovely. I wanted to take them all home. All of their cafes have the cat tree, which is one of their signature designs, as you can see in this video. I know it sounds like I'm sponsored by this cat cafe, but really, I'm not. I really wish I was though. I would totally come here every day or every week. Some of the cats loved being petted by me. Others, well, not so much. Hello. Uh, no. They have a variety of different cat breeds too, from Munchkins, Shookums. You okay up there, buddy? British short hairs. <laughs> and Norwegian forest cats. For now, let's grab a drink. 
Now the vending machines already have a cup inside, so all I need to do is press a button. I'm gonna choose. There's the cup. We were asked to put a lid on our drinks in case the cats accidentally knocked them over. Ta-da! Aside from the all-you-can-drink bar, they also have mangas you can read and a very pretty restroom. Oh, Japanese wash lid! Gen Z, bathroom selfies all you can too! How's it hanging? So generally, it's a rule in cat cafes that you can only pet the cat and never pick them up. It's okay if they come on to you, and that's totally fine, but you can't really hold them as it may stress the cat. Aside from not holding them or carrying them in your arms. We're not allowed to take photos with flash, but it's okay to take photos and videos. We can't chase them, we can't talk too loud because it might startle them, and we cannot give them food and drinks that are meant for humans. Bro, you look like you drank 10 cups of coffee. <laughs> Actually, what I'm doing is kind of prohibited as the cats may destroy the earphones. Well, they seem to be really interested in it, so I couldn't help it. They really, 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 really like those earphones. I'm really, really excited because we bought 500 yen worth of a snack that's pretty popular with the cats. So I'm really excited because I'm going to feed them today. Let's see what happens. Will they come to me? For an extra 500 yen, you can feed the cats some snacks. Bringing outside food for the cats is not allowed, so this is the way to go if you want to shower them with love. Their food! I'm not exactly sure what the treats were made of, but they smelled oddly like holiday ham. You know the ones with pineapples that you serve for Christmas? That one. Think of that made into juice and frozen into heart-shaped bite-sized pieces for the cats. They absolutely loved it, and I loved it too. I mean, I didn't eat the treats, I just really loved giving it to them. They have three types of snacks you can choose from to give to the cats. The small heart-shaped ones I'm giving, a bigger version of that made into an ice lollipop, and some kibble. The staff said this was the most popular one with the cats, so we went with this one. We also ended up buying the ice lollipop really couldn't resist the cuteness. I really like this cafe because the cats look like they're well taken care of and that they're well fed. They're also really extremely beautiful cats. got up to do something today. Oh, hello. 
also have cat ears that you can wear. If I wear one, does it look good on me? Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet, and see you in the next video. Wow.